Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. In this video I'd like to go over the future plans that Cryptic Studios have for PvP in Neverwinter. I'll also go over the reasons why the current system of PvP is failing and isn't very attractive to the current player base. Alright, so to begin with, the current issues that are with PvP is the fact that veteran PvP players are generally just stomping newcomers who are not equipped with best in stock gear for that current season of PvP. As well as that, there are many different setups you can have. However, there are also artifacts and mount powers, etc. that are way stronger than others. And the expense to actually get those can be out of reach from a lot of players. And those different artifacts and gear and mounts and whatnot are just way too expensive for everybody to have them. And even if everybody had them, you just have a very toxic environment. People who don't want people playing with them and others who don't really care about what others think. Many people complain that the PvP is pay to win because of the fact that all this top gear and enchantments, insignias, legendary mounts, they're all really expensive. To, so to actually kit out your character fully, it costs a lot of AD. So you gain that aspect of people complaining it's pay to win. As well as that, there is only currently one game mode available, and that is just domination. Essentially, you have three nodes, and you gain points when your team has captured a node over time. As well as that, there currently is only one viable queue in Domination PvP, and that is the solo queue. You can't queue in with friends or anything, because you just won't get a match. Currently, there's only like, I don't know, 30 to 40 people who actually play PvP, like properly, and to get them all together to actually queue and at the right time it just takes forever and it's you never get the queue to pop especially because the player base is so low another reason for this is the rewards you do have decent rewards but to actually get them and especially as a new player to get them it's such a grind you could do your season you're on a low geared character you're doing pvp you constantly get vote kicked so you don't get any rewards you don't get any ranking for that match and you end up just losing a ton of matches and never getting any ranking and therefore you're never getting any of those trophies and you that's the currency for the store you do have decent like weapon enchantments which you can get which cost a decent amount in the auction house and they'd be great for new players but to actually get them you have to grind pvp for months to actually even get one of them so currently the rewards are just beyond the reach of new players and that's kind of what the rewards are best for Currently endgame players are just getting those rewards and putting them in the auction house and just selling them for a bit of AD. That's it really. Currently the matchmaking, it doesn't give a damn about what role you play in combat. So you end up with matches with like 5 healers on one side. And they just capture the nodes and stay alive. And you just get a really stale environment where nobody kills each other and you're just capping nodes and moving around. That's it. As well as that... People have complained about the respawn timers, that they seem to be really random, but they're based on the fact where it wants you to kind of regroup after a few of you die, rather than you all trick it out one and one and you just keep dying like that. Anyway, the current PvP approach doesn't work for the majority of the audience, which then results in a low PvP population. For example, the PvP queues already try to match players by similar item levels, but it will only do that for a certain amount of time before matching together just a random group. This timer used to be a lot longer, but because the PvP community is so small, they have to reduce the delay. And with this shortened delay, you end up with a lot more imbalances in the matches. Therefore, the matchmaking is just unfair and you're just going to get teams which are just going to overpower the other team just so easily. There is a potential solution that Cryptic Studio are looking at. If you were there for the April Rules event, you may have seen the PvP that they did there. It was a short term event and essentially you had these different classes or the different roles that you had in the PvP that you would select at the very beginning. You choose that role and that you'd have a set loadout, set stats for that like role. 
and everybody was on a level playing field and it was great fun for new players and veteran players. Currently what the Cryptic Studios propose is to create a similar game mode where they strive to have 11 preset characters. One would be like the henchman, it's a rather weak class but you just spawn in it, right? Then you have seven different monsters or characters from the general Neverwinter that are free for you to be able to use, right? You just walk on top of that area and you select it and you become that class. You'll have your set loadout of your three encounters, two dailies and two at wills for that class specific with them. You'll have a given set of stats and your gear won't affect your stats whatsoever. Then they want to introduce a kind of cosmetic sense to it as well. You'd have these three different roles, right? Which are just going to aesthetically look different, right? And you'll be able to probably just pay Zen, right? And unlock new custom skins and whatnot that you can equip on your character. That is just something they're looking at. The way to kind of monetize PvP and potentially fund their efforts into creating PvP a better place and something that more people might actually enjoy playing. Anyway, to begin with they'll start out with an alpha phase where they'll just have the basic functionality of this. They'll introduce it and probably put it in the game for people to test and whatnot and see how it actually goes. And if it works and people like it and enjoy it, then they'll start progressing to the beta phase where they'll gain all the feedback and whatnot. Try to polish up what they have, remove the kinks and possibly some bugs that might be on the different powers. One thing that with those classes, they're very potentially going to be based off certain companions, right? You'll have certain characters like Nox, Celeste, Makos, and even Xuna characters within PvP that you'll be able to play. You'll be able to just pick them up at the very beginning have their given set of powers and off you go. Everybody's on a balanced playing field. Everybody can choose those certain classes. It's going to be tough at the very beginning to get that balance across all of them. What I don't want to see is everybody just picking the same class and just, yeah, that won't be any fun at all. I, I want there to be balance and variety. That would be awesome. Anyway, then they go into the final phase, which would be the official stage, where they believe the function is fully um, released, the bugs mostly removed and whatnot. Of course, they'll still work on it as they go along. And if there's heightened interest in and a lot of people playing it, they'll come out with new game modes like Capture the Flag and Team Deathmatch and whatnot and so on. So if you want to look at an example and if you weren't there for the April Fool's event where they did that PvP, you can look at my video that I did. I just explain the mechanics and, and it gives an overall view of how the event played out and whatnot. And you can see from there a good example of what it's going to be like. With those set defined roles you choose at the beginning and they each have their unique set of abilities. This is the Cryptic Studios proposal on the changes they're going to make to PvP. And this means, unfortunately, for the veteran PvP players that are, are now, they're most likely still going to have the PvP queues that are still, that are there already, so those PvP veterans can still bash on each other, but just so that they don't feel like they completely wasted their time and their Astro Diamonds on the gear that they have, because if they introduce this new change, it's going to completely overhaul, they're probably going to compensate people for the boons that they grinded out on the old system, like they did before again. However, if you've spent a ton of Astral Diamonds on your character, well, I'm sorry, the PvP as it is now is going to completely die and you'll have yeah, wasted your Astral Diamonds. Anyway, that is everything. I hope you like what you saw here. Hopefully I presented it well enough. If I did, consider leaving a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.